Hi, painters. Thanks for joining me today in my studio where I'm going to paint some lemons from direct observation. So, as I painted this, I realized that I've been really avoidant around painting from direct observation, and I don't think that I'm alone in doing this. So why do we get into what I call the avoidance spiral? And it is a spiral, because the more you avoid painting from life, the harder it gets. The more you repeat the experience, the better you get at it. It is just one of those processes that requires repetition and that requires acceptance of failure as an inherent part of the process. And I'll get to that again later. The reasons that I found myself avoiding this process boil down to three things. Number one, tell me if this resonates for you. You look at this and you think, oh, this has been done before. Your inner critic is right there immediately to tell you, you don't have anything new and exciting to say, why even bother? So the antidote to this is to basically shut this argument down and say, my job is not to further the discourse every time I pick up my paintbrush. That's not why I'm here. Your creative work does not have to add to our cultural bank every time you paint. It's fine to say, you know what? Everyone's done this and I'm stepping into this grand continuum. I'm just part of this great confluence of people who have painted their food. And that changes your relationship to this activity a lot, doesn't it? So the second thing that keeps me dragging my feet around this, and I blame academia for this, is that it's boring. I'll be honest, my first reaction to setting up a still life and painting it is not one of excitement and eagerness. That comes with time and with drilling down into how the small can be beautiful. Some people are really plugged into that, and I have to work a little harder for it. Painting like this actually helps me work at that and helps me achieve that. So that's the value, I think, in leaning in to the idea that, yes, maybe this subject matter is a little bit boring or a little bit pedestrian. I blame academia because so often when we show up to a painting class, we get assigned a still life and we get a bunch of objects that almost look like somebody picked out the things that they thought could least inspire interesting painting. So the antidote to that is don't replicate that experience for yourself. Don't paint things that bore you. Find subjects that at least resonate. Those dried seed pods and bottles and chipped mugs are not necessarily going to accept symbolic weight to them, but you can move towards objects that have symbolic resonance. There's nothing keeping you from that. Lemons are my favorite flavor note. I just like them. So painting this felt a lot less boring than painting a lot of other things. The third thing that has kept me avoidant and that I really think keeps people avoidant the most is that this is hard. And I'm not going to push against that. I'm not going to tell you, no, actually it's easy. It's just colors and shapes, don't worry. Painting from direct observation is hard because you are being called to use all of your skills and all of your faculties. You have to see placement, shadow, light, volume, value, color, color temperature. And then you have to put these things together in a way that's intelligible and you have to do these certain processes in a certain order in many cases. With oil painting, you have to make a structurally sound painting by working from thin up towards thick. So, so many different things are being called upon at once, and the likelihood that you're going to just do this correctly every time is pretty much zero. Short of a few prodigies, there are no painters who have hit it out of the park every time they try on a new subject. So being willing to scrape, being willing to fail, and being unflustered by your failure is just the basis of the process of learning to paint what you see. So this time I actually wound up with something I'm pretty happy with. 
And I really think the reason that this happened is because I narrowed my scope, limited my time, and kept to something very simple within this specific time frame. I hope that you've found some of these discussion points to be useful and encouraging in your own painting. Till next time, take care, stay safe, happy painting.